In this video, I want to tell a story about my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, Lois Elizabeth Elmore Skelton. And when I graduated from college in 1986, I moved over to Atlanta. Well, basically it was Stone Mountain, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta. I lived there for uh, nearly two years. And Lois did fly one time to visit me in Virginia. Uh, she came with my mother, Mary Bell, on a plane. However, Lois's first airplane adventure was exactly that. It was quite an adventure. Mom and Lois and I, while I lived in Stone Mountain, we decided that we wanted to visit family in Las Vegas. Philip's brother, Leon, had lived there for the longest time. I flew from Atlanta to Memphis and then my mother and Lois flew from Jackson, Mississippi to Memphis. When I arrived in Memphis, the airport was electric. There was something that had happened. When I finally found my mother and my grandmother, mom told me that as they were making their approach to Memphis, the pilot comes on to tell them that the landing gear light did not come on, indicating that the landing gear had locked. Thus, this could be that the bulb was burned out or that the landing gear had not locked just in case everyone needed to get into their emergency crash positions. At this point of the story I asked why was I not visiting in the hospital? Why did they not freak out? Why had they not had a heart attack? I mean hey this was my grandmother's first ever plane flight. So my mother explained that they were sitting in the very back row of the airplane so they could hear the flight attendants talking and since they were not freaking out they figured it was going to be okay. She said it was pretty amazing though with all of the emergency vehicles that were there to meet them and she said it felt like it was an hour to taxi to the gate because of how far away they landed. I was just amazed by the both of them. Lois got again on another plane to visit me in Virginia but that was the last time that she ever visited me anywhere that I lived um, because by that time she was getting close to 80 so she didn't fly much after that but I thought that was this is one of those great stories that I don't want future generations to not know about my grandmother she was amazing she was willing to get out of her comfort zone and do something a little bit different and I had a great picture of her playing the slot machines at the airport. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have lost that photo. Thank you.